I love to promote body acceptance and body positivity, meaning to celebrate individual beauty because in our society, we're made to feel ashamed of our bodies. Everyone's naked underneath their clothes, everyone. That makes us human. But for some reason, thousands of years, we've been shamed into feeling bad about our, body, our bodies, especially females in this day and age. Uh, and males too, of course, but I think it's more predominant for females because they break you down when you're growing up, seeing all these beautiful people, and models are really beautiful, but most average people do not look like models. So, growing up, you see images. I'm Vietnamese, so I saw images of blonde hair and blue eyes, or blue eyes and brown hair, but never Asian. So, our society does not celebrate and even recognize, nowadays, more Asian people on movies and TV, but when I was growing up, none. You don't, even in school, I don't see, when I was growing up at Dana Point High School, you never see that many Asians. So I grew up with a lot of blonde hair and blue eyes. No beautiful people around me, but I, no one taught me that individual beauty is also beautiful because all we saw were white people around us. I like to promote body acceptance and positivity and to celebrate different concepts of what it means to be attractive or beautiful. And it's not even about being attractive or beautiful, but accepting, you know, different types of looks. Um, Asians, Vietnamese, Chinese, Koreans, um, Latinos, Spanish, Mexican, South American, Black. So. Um, just different types of beauty in today's world because most of the time when you open a magazine, and the good thing is nowadays you do see more ethnicity in magazines and in um, TV and movies, but not a lot. I think maybe 80% of the people are white. Different types of white, but they're white. You don't see the minorities, and maybe you do see the minorities, but we're sort of in the background. We're like the sidekick. So I like to promote that individual beauty and just accepting what you look like and everyone looks different. So you should never compare yourself. And I teach this little one, to, what do I teach you? To not com um, care what you look like because it's what kind of person you are that matters the most. If you're kind, compassionate to other people, I think that beauty radiates outside and I think this culture is too obsessed with looks because they spend millions and billions of dollars by makeup working out and yes working out is important for balance for health so that's what I like to promote and that's my main um, when I promote anything with the videos and um, pictures it's to promote a healthy, non-sexual nature, naturism. We, we're all born naked, and it should be healthy, and not something that we're ashamed of, to um, go to the beach or camping, and we wanna go naked, go naked swimming, and that's what my passion is. With the videos for traveling and sailing, that's a hobby, it's fun for me, but what I'm truly passionate about is for everyone in the world to focus more on the inside than the outside, because even if you're not as attractive as you think or feel you should be, what matters is the kind of person you are. So that's what I promote. So yes, it sounds like um, hoity-toity, but that's what I believe in. For my pictures, a lot of people go, my God, you don't look like what, what you do in your pictures, and I don't. I'm lucky to be photogenic a lot of times, and a lot of times you see my blobs, my fat, and my scars and my cellulite, but everybody has that. You accept your body and yourself for who you are, what it looks like, and you can only improve what you have. Don't compare yourself to your neighbors, your sisters, because everyone's different. Uh -huh. And there's always gonna be more beautiful people, more attractive, smarter, on and on. So the journey in life is to improve yourself, 
especially to improve yourself, you have to accept yourself first. And in order to do that, you have to learn to love yourself for all the positives and the negatives. And it's a journey in life. And what matters at the end is you and whatever God or entity you believe in, that's what matters. What you think, what you feel, and fuck everybody else. Like, we're not sheep to care about what other people believe or think, but we do. That's the problem with society. They want you to conform. And I'm all about, don't conform. Do what you want to do. Be crazy. Be happy. Um, just be you and do it um, proudly and happily and crazily. Whatever you want to do in life is be you and fuck everyone else. <laughs> Thank you. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine on YouTube for everything sailing, the lifestyle, and travel, the realities of the sailing lifestyle, food, cooking, scuba diving, spear fishing, all the shit that we do. Please subscribe to Sailing Gypsy Christine. Please subscribe. Thank you.